What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Impact Gaming Center. We are live and in living color here. And we are in round five of six of our modern RCQ 1K. We've got Joseph on Demir Shadow, a blast from the past, against Tim on Demir Frog Tide. We saw uh, Tim earlier in the day. He is back. And, uh, yeah, we have a Thought Seize here on turn one. So down to 16 for Joseph. Hopefully they keep track on the on the phone as well. And we're going to take a Frog. Double Frog. Pretty good for Tim. But let's see how this goes. Thank you all so much for hanging out with us. If you're watching live on Twitch, you're the real MVP. If you're watching after the fact, go check out Twitch. We stream weekly on Fridays and, of course, special events like this. But, yeah, if you're watching on YouTube, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell icon, click all so you don't miss out on content like this. As Joseph takes his turn, gonna fetch, gonna drop, to 14 and let's see what he's gonna grab both players still in the mix for a potential top eight here one thousand dollars cash will be uh awarded to the top eight and of course you know depending on where you finish will course determine how much of that uh, you get playing a one one shadow and subtlety going to come in and say you can either put that on top or on bottom and looks like joseph gonna keep it on top And a preordain. Going to bottom that and keep Shadow on top. Maybe, maybe not. Still thinking about it, he looks like. <laughs> End of the turn. Tim going to fetch down to 19. All right. Tim going to surveil off of his... Blue Black Surveil Land, of which I'm blanking on the name. <laughs> Down to 17 off the fetch for Tim. Projecting a counter spell. I'm not sure if Tim has it in hand or not, but certainly smells like a counter spell if I'm Joseph. That's what I'm that's what I got Tim on. Maybe a Bowmasters. Preordain, though. Going to Scry 2. Can't quite see what we got. So this Death Shadows deck plays Nethergoyf, Death Shadow, Street Wraith, Tamio, the new Tamio. Death Shadow and Death Shadow. The first one gets countered. The second one's going to resolve, though. And Joseph has a 3-3. Three, three. Preordained for Tim. Top, bottom. Going to draw a card off the preordained. Pre I was like, wait a second, that doesn't untap. Down to 15 goes Tim, and there is a frog. Ribbit, ribbit. Here is the frog for you all. Get that on camera for you. Psychic frog, a new card, making waves from Modern Horizons 3. Stop me if you've heard that before. And... 
As quick as it comes, it is gone. A bitter triumph gonna take down the psychic frog. Drops Joseph to seven. And get on in there with the big old uh, the shadow. Down to six. Can Tim find a removal spell? Here's a surveil. Gonna bend that. <laughs> and he's gonna gain control of it with Archmage's charm. That's brilliant. Love it. <laughs> Fatal push my own Death Shadow. That's gotta feel terrible. I'm sorry, Joseph, if you're watching this after the fact. That's funny, though. Uh, Preordain here for Tim. Gonna sc scry to. <laughs> and pass back for Tim. Back to Joseph, what you got? Pass back. And here we go. This is the fun part of the game where the rules are made up and the points don't count. <laughs> All right, right back to Tim. Tim's going to fetch down to five. Any Death Shadow at this point is pretty much lethal anyway. All righty. See if Tim can draw something relevant. That's a frog, it looks like, so. Ribbit, ribbit. So now Joseph's got to find a removal spell. And Joseph not showing us any cards. Drawing, looking, and putting it face down pretty much every turn. <laughs> And that's going to be it. Tim going to take game number one here in round five. We are doing it live, folks. We're doing it live. I've got their deck list, so let me get that, bring those out real quick. Thank you all so much for watching, but I've got deck lists as these two are going to... Uh, Go to sideboard. Let's take a look first at Demir Shadow. We got Joseph, Consigned to Memory, uh, Stern Scolding. That could be pretty darn good. Uh, Break the Ice, probably not. Unlicensed hers, potentially. I, I actually, yeah, I could see that against the Merc Tide deck. Harbinger of the Seed, Seas, Force of Negation, Toxic Deluge, and Narset Part of Veils. I could see Narset. I could see an argument for Toxic Deluge. Unlicensed hers for sure. And then Stern Scolding, I could see, I could see it. And then with Tim, break the ice. <coughs> Excuse me. Consign to memory. Narset, Nile Spellbomb, Mystical Dispute. Mystical Dispute for sure. Toxic Deluge, probably. Um, Stern Scolding, probably. Surgical and... Harbindro sees. So pretty decent cards for both players. A lot of the similar cards for both players, but uh, should be pretty interesting game two and three. Thank you all again so much for hanging out with us. Head on over to impactgamingcenter.gg for all of your tabletop gaming needs, including Magic the Gathering singles and sealed product. But yeah, how y'all doing today? Thank you so much for hanging out with us. If you are watching live, we appreciate you a ton. We've got two Demir decks doing battle. Doing it live. Fighting for top eight. Fighting for a chance to go to the RC. And of course, their, their part in $1,000 cash. Let's kick it down there. All 
All righty. All righty, both players have their opening seven, and we are off to the races. I'm sure this fetch lands, and there's two. Is that two unlicensed searches for Joseph? It is. So I was right in my assessment. Here is Polluted Delta. Tim says, I like that play. Let's do it. Down to 17 for an Inquisition of Kozilek. Counterspell, Shadow, Double Hearse, and Two Lands. I assume we're either going to take the Shadow or the Counterspell. Tim agrees, going to snag that Counterspell. And back to Joseph. Probably a fetch, maybe a fetch shock, depending if Joseph's feeling froggy. Never mind, we got a surveil land. That makes sense too. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna keep it on top and draw it. Gonna fetch and play a hearse. Down to 16. Hearst going to be pretty darn good against Merc Tide if Tim has one. When Tim has one. All right, a little cut ski. And right back to Tim. Blue to Delta, go. Into the turn. Eat those two. Thought seize drawn for Joseph. And we will thought seize. Two drown in the locks. Cling to dust, preordain, and counterspell. Pretty, pretty solid defensive hand. Needs to find a threat, though, obviously. Going to take a drown in the lock. And do we have a preordain? Love that old border stubborn denial, and I can't quite make out that other card. Well, Joseph puts it in hand. Uh, spell snare, sure. Down to sixteen. Got a tie ball game, folks. Scalding Tarn. Preordain. Bottom, bottom. Tim's probably looking for some action here. Finds an Inquisition. And target Joseph. Joseph. 
Going to take the spell snare. And pass back. Tim, on the plan of just going to take your counter magic. Joseph going to eat two of Tim's cards and fetch down to 13. Fatal push the draw. Still can't quite play the shadow, so he'll pass back. In a turn, we'll fetch and surveil here for Tim. And just plays Swamp and passes back. End of the turn, eat two lands. Play Misha's Bobble. Bobble you. Let's see. Do we ever get to see it? Hey! It's a land. That's the first Bobble trigger I've ever been able to actually see. <laughs> End of turn, we're going to clean to dust. Draw a card off the clean to dust. Plays the Dark Slick Shores and passes back. Not sure what they were discussing there, but seems to be all gravy. Back to Joseph. Now he can potentially deploy a Death Shadow. I think Tim has a sink in a stupor. And just to pass back, playing it very patiently here is Joseph. And Tim just going to pass right back. Down to 10. This hearse is a big boy if it ever gets to attack, that's for sure. Bloodstained Mire. And pass back to Tim. Another sink into stupor. Right back. It's like a tennis match right now. Back and forth, back and forth. <laughs> Joseph's starting to exile his own cards now with the hearse. Draws a water grave and passes right back. <laughs> Tim's got a full grip. Joseph's going to tag two more fetch lands, grow this. To a 12 12. Mert, uh, what is that? He don't have Mert tides in his deck, does he? Does he have one? Oh, spell snare. No Mert tide regent for Joseph. And the turn we're going to sink into stupor your massive hearse. <laughs> I think Joseph has 
Sink in the stupor himself. All right, so now those are just exiled. And here's a Bone Masters. That's going to get spell snared. And there's a Merc Tide for Tim. Does he have mana to cast it? Uh, don't think so. No land. And there's a drown in the lock. Yep. And there's the second one. Does Tim have another? Yes, he's got a counter spell this time. Say, no, I'm getting cards in my graveyard. You're not going to stop me, but here's a big old death shadow. Those are both four fours. Quite a menacing board state here for Joseph. And fatal push. Here comes Murktide. Joseph was doing so well at keeping this Murktide, well, a potential Murktide off the battlefield. But Tim able to release the Kraken, as it were. Big flying dragon. But back to Joseph. Stain Meyer. Joseph's got some removal spells that he could have. Bitter Triumph, definitely one of them, to be able to deal with this Merc Tide, but this thing hits hard and hits often. Oh, and I think, does Joseph have a sink into stupor? He does. It's flipped the wrong way, but it's sink into stupor. It's going to sink the Merc Tide back to hand, it would appear. Just a fatal push, though, in hand. I don't think there's any reason not to attack. We're going to fetch down to eight. Just get a swamp. Down to five, or down from, takes five down to ten. And unfortunately, Tim can't replay the Merc Tide. Does Tim have a removal spell? Sink into stupor again. Oh, boy. We're going to see uh, Merc Tide. What time is it? Merc Time. Bitter Triumph? Bitter Triumph would be pretty hot here. Yeah, holy smokes. Oh, but the Spell Snare! Still loses a three for casting. 
That's brutal. That's backbreaking. That might be the that might be the match right there. Let's see what Joseph can peel here. And that's going to be a fist bump, and that's going to go to Tim. Two games to zero. Tim creeping ever so closely into a potential top eight here. Holy smokes. Thank you all so much for watching. If you're watching on YouTube, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell icon, and set it to all so you don't miss content like this. If you're watching on Twitch, stay tuned. We got one more round of Swiss followed by the top eight. We will crown a champion here. $1,000 on the line. Tim will be fighting for his top eight life next round. Joseph, X2, we've got 37 players. Likely that uh, X2 probably won't make it, but it's possible. It's possible. I haven't looked at the breakers too much, but thank you all so much for watching. We appreciate you. I'm Les Alex. Make sure to check out impactgamingcenter.gg. Uh, for all of your Magic the Gathering and tabletop gaming needs. Thank you all so much. Stick around if you're watching on Twitch. We've got several more rounds of live modern action. And if you're watching on YouTube, click one of these videos. I bet you'll like them. Till the next time, catch you all on Flippy Flop. Adios.